where I was exposed to so many different cultures. Um, being home hosted through Rotary, we stayed, I stayed with a lot of Indian families, some Chinese families and some Malay families. So there's been a lot of cultural exchanges happening and um, I've been very, um, oh, how do you say, probably um, overwhelmed I suppose with the, the different cultures and how everyone lives in harmony with each other and respects each other's festivals and traditions. So it's very, Malaysia is a very multicultural country. cultures I'll bring back is um, I guess the love of life. Malaysians are very happy people. Um, they, they're very hard working, very hard working but are also very appreciative of family and friends. They stay very close. Um, maybe one cultural difference is that we probably won't eat as much as the Malaysians do. Um, they tend to eat a lot. Which is great because the food is great and it's delicious and I would eat it all the time as well. Um, what other cultures that I bring back? Um, I think just, as I said, the unity that everyone is working together and in, in harmony with each other. It's very good. Um, as I said before, Malaysians are very hard working. They tend to work quite late at night, where Australians, five o'clock, that's it, pens down, out to have fun. Um, however, we do tend to work quite extensively from that nine to five. Um, so that's, I think, surprised me a lot, that Malaysians do work so late at night. Um, language has not been a problem at all. I was in fear that no one would be able to understand me. Um, but that hasn't been the case at all. I've even picked up a bit of Malay, only a little bit. Um, but I think with the, with, as again, the cultural, everyone can speak English here quite fluently. There's been no trouble with that. Um, the food hasn't been a problem. The work ethics are very strong here. Um, Australia has very strong work, work ethics as well, but we also um, are very strong in social and, um, and community. The graphic design scene in Malaysia is very fresh, it's very up and coming, um, new innovative ideas, which is very good, I, that's what excites me, something that's new, hasn't been done before, um, out of the box which is how I like to think. So you think out of the box. Um, the wow factor is what I look for. And certainly something like here with Cut Out Magazine and you guys, what you're doing is just, it excites me. I want to take that back home and show all my friends. Um, this is what I got to experience. The work practices are very similar um, with the concepts and how we get ideas and how people brainstorm together to get the one idea. Um, but no, I think definitely Malaysia graphic design is definitely on the scene and everyone should look out for them. Trending in Melbourne at the moment is very vintage, very 1950s, 50s is very in. It's been trending for a little while actually, so we'll see if there's a new trend coming in. Um, simple, clean, cut designs. Um, a lot of photography pieces, photography and typography mixed in together. Um, but things that are eye-catching that will make you just stop and, and grab the attention. So very simple, clean-cut, uh, photographic and typographic designs with a 1950s flair, I suppose. Vintage, very in. Yeah.